Alright, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. This is one of my, or actually my better, uh, ginseng ficus, what's commonly called a ginseng ficus. A ginseng ficus actually is a ficus microcarpa that is grown from seed. When they're grown from seed, the, uh, the stump will swell up and get these big fat roots on them. And then what they do is they, they wind up cutting the stump off and then grafting a smaller leaf. A uh, variety of, of ficus microcarpa on top, so it really is just two different varieties of market microcarpa grafted on each other. I picked this up in early 2019. My daughter, my daughter had gotten me the seed kit for Christmas that I grew my jacaranda out of. All the rest of those died. But after doing a little research, I thought maybe I'd try the hobby a little bit. It's just one of the first trees that I saw at a big box store. Ginseng ficus. The more research I did, the more I realized that they, they were not, you know, a, a real preferred type of ficus to really do any true bonsai work with. And so I decided to do something different with both of them. And this one, this one I put on the rock here. And I think, you know, for what has it been? Almost four years. It's looking pretty good. I've been able to, uh, I, I, I wired this up in June. The wire's still on there. I've been, you know, clipping it here and there. Kind of got hammered a bit in the storm. Had a lot of yellowing leaves, so I got in there and cleaned it up. And, you know, it's recovered. And now I can see that the wire's biting in quite a bit. It got quite a growth spurt from, from that turn there. So I'm going to get in today. I'm going to take all the wire off. And then since we're heading into wintertime, I'm just going to give it a good cleanup. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to defoliate it or wire it again or anything. All right, I'm going to get this wire off here first. All right, so I got the wire off of it. You can already see it's starting to lose its shape a little bit. Some of the branches kind of springing back up. But now, since I have been trying to keep the profile just, you know, in a nice little shape here, I'm gonna go ahead and just get in and I'm gonna get some of the interior ones that have been just growing straight up. Some of these bigger, older leaves in here. does look better with the leaves on it but you can see the, by the way that the foliage had it all covered up before it'll cover it up again all right and here is my other one it's not looking nearly as nice as the one we just looked at there and I was planning on you know doing some work on it soon at some point just never got around to it in, in the hurricane, it actually, this tree flew and it, it's one of the only ones that I actually have sitting out in my front yard and it was almost out in the road. 
the pod ironically stayed exactly where it was. But I, I just, all I did was just really st stick it back in there. It's still kind of not quite in the right place on this side. I didn't have the time to do like a whole repot at the time. And right now, and it's even missing some substrate there that I haven't filled in. I may clean that up a little bit and just top it off some because I have no intention on repotting this thing any anytime soon. Pull some of these dead leaves out of there. But it's still got some of the beat up leaves left on it. But even, you know, this time of year, it'll get yellowing leaves and browning leaves. But a lot of these are from the hurricane. It really did get, uh, you know, beat up pretty well. It was almost completely defoliated, except, like I said, except for a few of these older leaves. All these, all the rest of them are new. And it just became even more, more uh, leggy looking than it was there in July for sure. And I'll go ahead and give you, uh, I got this the same time as the other one, so early 2019 or the first few of these pictures, I'll go ahead and let them run through. But I think, I, you know, this time of year, like if I was bringing it indoors, I do hear a lot, a lot of people that when they bring them indoors, they'll defoliate them. But then I would imagine they're leaving the growing tips so it keeps the momentum and it kind of comes out. But I'm going in the wintertime, but I don't bring them indoors. I'll leave them outside. I'm going to give it just a really hard prune. It's a little bit of a risk I'm taking just with the time of year. But I think since it is still going to stay outside and we still get plenty of sunshine here, I think it'll bounce back just fine. Let's see a major shop here, here, here. It's hard to tell with the timing of them. Once I get this thing chopped down, you'll see the structure of these branches just has no rhyme or reason. It just must be really, really wild seeing how they must put these together at the uh, place where they graft them together. Certainly not going to win a beauty contest or anything today, as it says. But now that I've set this again, I'll let it recover all winter, and then once I see the spring growth come, the other one, you know, once once that spring growth comes, I plan on giving that a hard prune and a wire. This one, once I see the spring growth come, I think I'm going to try to canopy it out a little bit and see if I can get the leaves small enough and dense enough to where you can't really see the hideous branch structure. I am, I noticed, I had, it almost seems like this branch could be coming from the rootstock, from, from this side it looks like it could, from this side it just looks like it's enveloped in the trunk, which I guess would make it perhaps the rootstock, I guess, hard to tell, if they graft sometimes, I've seen somewhere it looks like they grafted like four or five of them on there, just kind of stuck them every which way. But I think I had in this crown, I had a little unhealthy spot that had some like gall looking stuff on it. And I let this branch grow. And that's just straight. I can see no wire marks on it. So I know that that was one of the ones I think I was letting go for health. And then it's crossing with this one. I thought about trying to get wire on some of these heavier ones. But they're already so lignified. So I'm just going to try to build a canopy from there, see what happens. 